Oh my god, these Tritons are freaking amazing. What's up guys? It's Ravenous Kells. 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 <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, how do you guys feel about school? Because I I don't know why it's so often that I hear almost everyone say that they hate school or that they think school is boring and that they want to fucking drop out or something. Like, well, fuck, I'm here to fucking keep you in school, alright? I'm here to tell you why you really fucking shouldn't. Even though I myself sometimes don't enjoy it, I don't think there's one person out there who constantly always enjoys school every single day. And there are a lot of reasons why we don't, actually. I mean, one, it could be because the subjects that you are learning or the material that your teachers are teaching you just aren't you know of your interest and that's fine everybody likes different things and you know we learn differently but second the thing is um it really really depends on your teacher and how well they can convince you to you know enjoy what you're learning and it's really hard to find really passionate teachers nowadays wow i i can't tell you how many people have told me that their teachers just don't give a shit about their education. They're just there to get their money because they think that teaching, you know, is a laid-back job when it's actually the fucking hardest job. I think it's the hardest job because you have to deal with a lot of people every year and you're responsible of who they become or what role they play in society. And that's, that's a big, like, amount of responsibility, I think. But, you know, it's not only the teacher's responsibility, it's also yours. You have to meet your teachers halfway. It's only if you really want to make it, you know. If you want to succeed, then you got to meet your teachers halfway. But anyways, so, God, I I personally love school because I've, I've had a good experience with school. Most of my experiences, actually, from, like, I think high school, I would have to say, was, like, the best because I really figured out what I love doing. I love writing, like, oh my god, I love writing, I love helping others, I love, I love, like, being a part of a community, and I love, I don't know, I love a lot of things. God, but one thing, one subject, I gotta say, yeah, writing, I love it so much because it's, it's that one subject where there's no right or wrong answer, and it also starts up a lot of conversations and you get to you get to express yourself you get to practice thinking critically you get to have conversations with other people like as fun as doing a commentary is it's I gotta say it's more fun doing dual comms because when I talk to somebody I get to see their whole perspective or they get to see mine and it's like that's like sharing you know sharing is caring <laughs> it's a great thing uh, I don't know I just I just love writing and I mean like writing might not be your thing whatever your thing is I strongly suggest you pursue it because we all should be working on our strengths as well as our weaknesses but um, even if you don't go to a really good college any college will do because it's really up to you if you really strive to do something in life or to do better just to I don't know just to want you know a better life or to want to do something you really enjoy then god I I really suggest you you know get serious and just stay on top of your work even though it can be discouraging because of teachers lacking enthusiasm or or I don't know other students letting you down or maybe your parents cuz I know what that's like I've okay so like <laughs> I'm one of those people who don't think that GPAs show that you're smart cuz I mean I I really do think about it what is smart anyways hmm but um GPAs they don't show how smart you are, okay? They, they just show how often you do your work 
and that's what your GPA shows because that grade in your class doesn't sh doesn't mean that oh I got that because I know everything no you're probably not even gonna remember half the things you learned in high school or middle school because I definitely don't remember like a lot of things but uh, <laughs> that's just that's a whole nother thing you know memory if if you meet someone who can tell you a whole bunch of things like oh yeah I know the all the capitals of every fucking state then fuck they re really must fucking care <laughs> they really like traveling or something I don't know and they just have good memory some of us don't have good memory but that's okay doesn't mean we're not smart school basically shapes who we are and it, it helps us build our personality believe it or not because if it weren't for school I don't think any of us would be who we are today not only school but like the people around us or our environment our, our freaking community it's just but school I gotta say is like the biggest factor because all of us have been in school for like more than half our lives well if you're a kid listening to this then yeah so far you've you've been in school for like the longest time you know more than you have been working or doing other things so school's really important guys and i really want you all to really take any opportunities that you will get to you know help you do well in school or i don't know um just just really take school seriously, even if you might not like it, because we all get negative sometimes, even I do. I'm not going to lie, I do hate it sometimes. I hate school sometimes. But in the end, I know, like, in the long run, that's what's going to help me make it, you know? it's, And I have so much to, like, kind of repay to my community. I mean, thank you for all those teachers I've had, you know, who have taught me so much, and all my peers, and... Wow, everyone just from school has helped me get so far. So, guys, if you want to keep getting far, I suggest you take school seriously. So, thanks for listening.